Well, we don't have yet the final answer whether or not the Chinese and the Russian vaccines that are used in Europe will be included in the EU's COVID certificate. The announcement, as you said, comes only on Wednesday. But we know that uh, two EU commissioners said yesterday in the European Parliament behind closed doors that they would exclude all vaccines that did not pass the authorization of the European Medicines Agency. The reason for this is that those vaccines are so far not covered by the EU's liability and quality control mechanism. And tell us more about this Green Pass idea has been described as an EU vaccine passport. What advantages does it give and are there still going to be other conditions for travel? For the moment we are not sure about the details about this uh, uh, issue. The announcement comes only on uh, Wednesday. The main idea behind this certificate is to enable international travel for the summer season to boost tourism in a secure way. So it was mainly pushed forward by the Greek and the Spanish government. The most expected scenario here in Brussels is that with this kind of certificate you could avoid the quarantine when you cross another cont country. So if this is happening it would be really a step forward in the easing of the current measures in Europe. And countries are divided over the proposal. Why is that? Well, those countries who bought so far Chinese or Russian vaccines, so Hungary and the Slovak Republic, they are obviously uh, want to see their own citizens being able to travel with this certificate. They don't want to be discriminated. On the other hand, these countries are heavily criticized by other countries and institutions and politicians for purchasing vaccines from the East without the EU's authorization system. Many people think that this puts the common EU strategy at risk. So there is also a political element behind this debate, which is for the moment is not being resolved.